This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for April 5th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Tickets are now on sale to see Avenged Sevenfold with Alexis on Fire July 19th at the Xfinity Center in Mansfield, Massachusetts. Tickets are also on sale to see Godsmack and Stained July 26th at the Xfinity Center. Get the details on both shows in the concert calendar at mistresscarry.com. Paramount Plus announced the new music docuseries Family Legacy that'll premiere Tuesday, April 25th exclusively on Paramount Plus. Narrated by actor and music artist Quincy Brown, each half hour of the five episode series will feature the children of legendary music artists in bands including Linkin Park, Van Halen, Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Boys to Men, TLC, Biggie Smalls, Sean Diddy Combs, Brandy, and Melissa Etheridge. The show will feature clips from thousands of hours of exclusive MTV footage and brand new interview with the children of these huge stars. Family Legacy takes fans on a tour of iconic musicians' most celebrated moments with perspectives and untold stories only their kids could provide. With the anticipation growing for the release of Metallica's upcoming new album, 72 Seasons, on April 14th, the band has officially unveiled the length of all 12 songs. Metallica also shared three videos on social media, with James Hetfield opening up the vinyl, digipack CD, and cassette tape variants of 72 Seasons. The average length of the upcoming album is 6 minutes and 43 seconds, with the final track, track 12, In Amarada, coming in at 11 minutes and 10 seconds. In a new interview with Metal Hammer magazine, Lars Ulrich from Metallica said, quote, If you decide to go down into the comment sections, at least for me, you have to prepare yourself for not taking any of it overly personally. You have to kind of remove yourself from it, but I'd like to challenge anybody in a band to say they don't look at the comments. I mean, I'm not sitting up at four o'clock in the morning scrolling through every one, but when you haven't put any music out for five or six years and you dump something like Lux Eterna on an unsuspecting world, you're going to want to see what the feedback is. And Gibson, in a partnership with Kirk Hammett, for the first time, Gibson has collaborated with Kirk to create one of the most important heavy metal guitars of all time, his beloved 1979 Gibson Flying V. The guitar is now available worldwide through premium Gibson dealers and at Gibson.com. The Foo Fighters are set to open The Atlantis, a new 450-capacity venue in Washington, D.C., fashioned as a near replica of the original 930 Club next door. A concert is happening May 30th, the anniversary of the original 930 Club's opening in 1980. Artists like Franz Ferdinand, The Pixies, Darius Rucker, Bare Naked Ladies, Tegan and Sarah, Billy Idol, Bastille, and other artists are set to perform $44 concerts for the inaugural run of shows through the fall, celebrating the venue's 44th anniversary. Independent promoter IMP owns and operates the venue alongside the 930 Club, the Anthem, Lincoln Theater, and the nearby Meriwether Post Pavilion. Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker are giving fans an inside look at their wedding in Italy through a new Hulu special. The couple will release Till Death Do Us Part, an expansion of the famous families, the Kardashians. Saying, quote, this is our personal archive footage that we're sharing with the world. The earliest known full recording of the Beatles playing a live show in the UK has been found almost exactly 60 years after it was made. According to the BBC, the hour-long quarter-inch tape recording was created by John Bloomfield at Stowe Boarding School in Buckinghamshire on April 4th, 1963, when the Fab Four performed there. Bloomfield, who is now 75, was only 15 at the time. He revealed the existence of the tape when journalist Samira Ahmed visited Stowe to make a special program for Radio 4's Front Row to mark the gig's 60th anniversary. It was a unique Beatles gig performed in front of an almost entirely male audience. And crucially, despite loud cheers and some screaming, the tape is not drowned out by audience reaction. The set list was made up of songs from the Beatles' debut album, Please Please Me, which was released March 22nd, 1963, as well as some of the legendary group's R&B cover versions. Clutch have added a third leg of dates to their already extensive 2023 North American tour. 
The latest leg to be announced starts on August 9th in Seattle and runs through August 27th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Giovanni and the Hired Guns and Mike Dillon and the Pundalik will support the outing, which will hit markets across the West and South. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. local time through Ticketmaster. Returning to the road in the United States, The Warning is set to headline their very own Error Tour this spring with new music coming soon. Support is coming from Plush and Holy Wars, rounding out a package of 21st century rising rock talent. The tour kicks off April 30th in San Diego at the House of Blues and wraps up May 23rd at the Theater of the Living Arts in Philadelphia. Lucinda Williams has announced she's returning with a new album titled Stories from a Rock and Roll Heart on June 30th. And she's teamed up with Bruce Springsteen for the first single, New York Comeback. Stories from a Rock and Roll Heart was recorded while Williams was recovering from a stroke she suffered a few years back. Springsteen and his wife Patti Schialfa contribute backing melodies to New York Comeback. Williams' last album was 2020's Good Souls, Better Angels. And Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee will join forces with the California Bonsai Society to offer fans the chance to join him at a bonsai tree landscaping workshop. The event will take place somewhere in the greater Los Angeles area on April 15th. The winner and two second chance runners up will attend a four hour workshop with Tommy and Robert Pressler, president of the California Bonsai Society, where you'll create a bonsai landscape and be able to take it home. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 148 featuring Dave Perner from Soul Asylum is available now. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band are back on the road in 2023. And Set Lessing Bruce is joining the Pantheon podcast family. I'm Jesse Jackson, and since 2015, I've been talking to Bruce Springsteen fans from around the world, allowing them to tell their stories about how Bruce's music has been a good companion on their life's journey. If you love music, if you love good stories, please check out the podcast and listen to our conversations about music fandom, not only for Bruce, but for many other musicians as well. Remember, it's no sin to be glad you're alive.